Hey everyone and welcome back to my Star Wars The Clone Wars vlog series. Today I am uh, talking about Season 1 Episode 10, The Lair of Grievous. I'm almost halfway through this year, through the Season 1. It's like 22 episodes, so once I watch the 11th episode I'll officially be halfway through. Um, realization I came upon. Um, so in this episode, they are still tracking um, Newt Ganray, and it's Kit Fisto who is following a tracking beacon um, to the Stolen Republic ship from the previous episode, and his Padawan meets him there. His Padawan is, oh my gosh, I forget what, I forget what race, what the name of the race is called, but it's um, Admiral Akbar. It's a trap. That, um, that fishy, those fishy people, um, and they follow the beacon inside this, um, building, and they think they found Gunray, but it turns out to just be a hologram, and, you know, so like, oh, well, obviously a trap, but Duke's hologram pops up, and it becomes kind of unclear exactly who the trap is meant for until we then see Grievous returning to his lair um, and they realize it's his lair because they come into a room and there's a bunch of spare parts for Grievous. They also see like these different shrines of probably what Grievous looked like when he was still completely himself and 100% biological. I didn't take a good look at those, so, um, but I know I've seen some sort of illustrate illustrations of what he used to look like. Um, I think there was a comic book way back in the day. Um, and so they are fighting Grievous, and they have some clone troopers with them, and, like, the one part that's kind of creepy is they managed to cut off his legs, and then Grievous, like, you know, he has his arms detached into forearms, and then he's, like, crawling around like a creepy spider thing. And also, like, you know, like, crawls on the ceiling, and it's just kind of freaky looking. And he has, like, a doc a robot doctor who is able to, like, then replace his parts and everything. And uh, the robot's kind of snarky. Like, it's just another little comedic relief in an otherwise what would be a very dark episode. Um, and he's like, oh... Why did why did you submit yourself to the changes? And he's like, I didn't submit myself to anything. I wanted improvements. Um, so just get a little glimmer of kind of his current state of being. And he does still he coughs like once again in this episode, but it's only for a short moment. It feels like we'll never ever get an explanation on that as to why he's coughing way before episode three. Um. And the whole reason why Jedi are here is because Dooku set the trap is meant the, the trap, so so to speak, is actually for Grievous. Dooku has been like, okay, you've been um, failing a lot of missions. We've had a lot of losses, so I'm testing you. Um, and. Kit Fisto's Padawan ends up facing against Grievous. He does pretty good against the, um, the Magna Guards. Like, he takes them down pretty well. Um, but, you know, unfortunately, he does get killed by Grievous. You know, Grievous is blocking his lightsaber, and with his extra arm, he pulls out a blaster and shoots him. Which, it's like, yeah, that could be considered pretty cheap, but if you have those multiple arms, you know, you gotta take any opportunity you can, you know? So unfortunately, his young Padawan, who's now a knight, is is dead. Um, and Kit Fisto manages to escape, and Dooku isn't too happy upon hearing about that. So we'll see how Grievous... Um, we'll see how many ch more chances he's given to prove himself. I mean, they keep him in. Control. I mean, he's definitely part of the whole plan anyway. Like, with Palpatine slash Sidious, you can't have the opposition be 
they have to be ruthless, but they can't be so OP that victory over the Republic is easy peasy. It has to be a balance. So like, Dooku is pretty cool and calculated, whereas Grievous is very rash, quick to anger, all that. So it kind of evens the playing field. Especially when you consider that the Jedi are supposed to be generals during this war. But none of them really ever prepared for like actual military scenarios. And like Fistel's Padawan, which I think his name was Nadar, did mention that it's like, hey, you know, this war has changed things. We gotta change the way that we we do things. Maybe we do need to match power with power and all that. And um that doesn't go well with Kit Fisto and he reports to Yoda and Mace Windu at the very, very end of the episode, and of course Yoda's like, you know, nope, we can't be doing that. We gotta stay true to who we are. And it was a very awkward like end scene because then it's like it just ends right there and just felt like Yoda and Mace Windu were just little cameos. Um So yep, yeah, of course Snoop Gunray got away. Grievous is fine, although still not in the good graces of Dooku and Sidious. Um But we did get to at least with this episode did get to kind of see the kind of place that his lair is and also um see Biv Kit Fisto, which I didn't watch the end credits because like it's an autoplay and it's kind of hard to like stop the autoplay so I'm not able to really see the cast but uh like when it switches over to the next episode and I wouldn't be surprised if the guy who voices Kit Fisto is the same guy who voices who voiced uh Samurai Jack um because his voice sounded a bit familiar although I did find it kind of interesting that the voice actor chose to kind of give him a somewhat a slightly kind of Jamaican inspired accent you know especially you consider that Kit Fisto with all his head tentacles kind of looks like dreadlocks so it's like is that really culturally sensitive but oh well it's Star Wars you know it, it is what it is I'm not gonna be it just seemed a little strange but I'm not upset by it you know but also yet again it's another instance of a voiceless Jedi Master that we've seen in the background in like episodes 1, 2, and 3 a lot and video games and all that that I never really knew what he sounded like and the voice choice it's not bad but it definitely is different than what I kind of was expecting but you know it's fine it it wor it works fine um and yeah so that's kind of all I gotta say right now, um, my videos, these, these vlogs are kind of getting a little shorter and shorter as I kind of try to keep things a little more concise and there's definitely going to be those kinds of episodes where those vlogs where I'll have a ton to say, I'll have thing, I'll have, um, the opportunity to then go on a tangent but as I, but then there's always going to be those episodes where it's like, nope, just summarize the episode, give my thoughts and things I liked and disliked and all that and then that's it so I'm going to move on to episode 11 and then I will officially be halfway through season one and it's like I just want to I want to be able to get through season one as quickly as I can without getting too burnt out because there are other things that I want to do like play video games and all that and um because season one is kind of, eh, you know, people keep saying it gets better after season two. So that is the goal, to get to the better content, as people say. So I will see you in the next episode.